Well, hi folks. Um, I know it's been a while since I've, uh, can't wait to get my hair cut. Um, <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I've done a video since I did my um, eunuch prophecies. Hope, hopefully that puts that to bed and um, people can just look that up and that gives the whole timeline. So hope it's been a blessing. And um, there's lots of things happening today. Spain just had a huge orange chemical cloud um, that is affecting about 60,000 people. Some kind of chemical cloud that dispersed and, and uh, I, you can look it up you know, on the news. Uh, earthquakes in Mexico here in California um, and again all over the world they're increasing and I believe that it has to do with um, planet 7x as well if you look up Gil Bruchard um, just put in planet 7x he gives a kind of interesting biblical uh, account of when this planet has come into elliptical orbit um, meaning it has the same orbit as a um, comet. Um, right now it's behind the Sun and um, it's in our solar system, has been since the year 2000. And it is causing um, these earthquakes in diverse places that Jesus speaks about. And I believe that according to, to Gill's timeline, even when Christ was um, crucified, for our sins, uh, sacrificed. Um, there was a three-hour uh, eclipse. Well, that's just not possible unless there's a third planet involved um, in our solar system. So, uh, 28 AD, that's when that happened. And so, he I don't know how he, uh, he explains it better on his website. Um, so I don't know how he started or how he figured it out. It was thought to be 36,000, 3,600 year elliptical um, circle, but he has figured out, no, it's only 360. So um, check that out. Very interesting, and it will give you a better idea of what's going on. Um, other things in the news. Uh, peace agreement with Ukraine, uh, uh, and the president of Ukraine, Russia, Germany, um, uh, the German chan chancellor um, has really tried to, you know, you just saw her on the news with Obama, she's really tried to bring peace to these people, uh, but as soon as the hands were shaken, more rockets came over to the Ukraine from Russia. So. You know, I just don't think there's going to be real peace um, between them. Uh, according to the division of the ten nations, um, it looks like Russia's got a big piece of the pie. So, um, also, uh, uh, you know, just trying to read Daniel's 70-week um, vision and you know that um, Persia is quite involved and what I think is is interesting is uh, biblically is what the Houthi just took over Yemen and the Houthi is biblical as well um, descendants from Noah also in Alam, Alam the, uh, did I say that right? I, I think, well, I know Elam, the descendants of Noah, his grandson is uh, the descendants who uh, uh, settled in Elam, Iran. And that's where they have a nuclear, um, their nuclear um, facility, where at night, right next to their water, which kind of not too smart because they're going to ruin all their water uh, when that thing uh, is destroyed. So um, they, you know, they had two major earthquakes near that area, 6.7 to 7.7, and Russia had a part of 
putting the, you know, the nuclear rods in there and everything because Russia's been helping Iran all along. Hence the Gog Magog, okay? So, um, we know that we're heading for an eventual Armageddon. And I believe that that's probably, you know, the Gog Magog, maybe, you know, World War III, and then the Lord comes. Again, I don't know the time. I don't know the dates. Only God knows that. Nobody else. N not even his son. So, in the meantime, we just have to um, have faith and, uh, you know, belief in our Lord that he is with us. You know, the saying that keeps going through my mind is those who try to save their life will lose it. Those who lose their life will save it. And be comforted knowing that he has gone to a place to prepare a place for us that he that so that he can gather us together so that we may be with him again. And I'm paraphrasing, of course. Um, but there's, you know, many, many verses that give us comfort to know that he is coming again. I don't know when the rapture is. Um, neither does anyone else except for the Lord. And so in the meantime, we just have to build each other up. Know that there will be a great falling away from the church. Uh, you know, it will become very, very lukewarm. In Revelations, it talks about all the churches. And I think it's, you know, that I, I think it has to do with the end times, the, you know, the last, the last church being lukewarm. Um, but again, I'm not sure on that. So I, like you, am learning still and still improving and so forth. So um, that's what's going on with that. Oh, another thing, uh, New Zealand huge huge fireballs uh, a green meteor like fireball and um, if they can't tell that it's come where it's coming from it's because it's coming from behind the Sun which they can trace back uh, the origin of these things and I do believe again that it's coming from planet 7x if not then it is uh, being manufactured by all these geoengineering companies out there trying to control the weather. Um, so it's not just HARP, but there's many companies out there being funded by different governments. Um, so it's hard to tell. Uh, but, you know, and again, they can manufacture earthquakes and tornadoes and lightning strikes and stuff like that too. So, you know, it's kind of hard to know <laughs> what. Who's doing what? And I think that so many things are happening at the same time and it's hard to follow, you know. Um, I, again, is, I'm keeping my, you know, uh, eye on Israel. Um, uh, they have always been my compass, if you will, my, uh, uh, my meter that I look toward to kind of... Um, you know, ground me in, in, into, you know, what's happening. Um, we need to be praying for our Christian brothers and our Jewish brothers and sisters. Many who are coming to Christ, it's just amazing. Um, some, of the, some of the stories are just so uh, um, wonderful and, and uh, heartfelt and, and just uh, endearing and, and wonderful, you know, that the Lord is still working Holy Spirit is still working in us, and He's still here. So, <clears throat> uh, be comforted in knowing that. Now, uh, I don't have a whole lot of time here. Um, the uh, Again, uh, some of the channels that you might want to watch to just kind of get your own news if you have your own time is uh, Stephen Ben Danun. He's in Israel, and he, he has pretty much up-to-date stuff that's happening in Israel. Um, remember, at this time, there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. But right now, I think we're at the point, and Stephen mentions this in a video as well, that it's kingdom against kingdom right now. 
So we're talking about Russia, Ukraine, you know, Iran, Israel, U.S. getting involved, which they, I wish they wouldn't. Um, but, you know, certain things have to happen. So kingdom against kingdom is where I believe that we might be in the timeline. But again, there's a lot of things that are happening at the same time. And it makes me wonder about the four horsemen, too, that are they released at the same time? Because it seems like certain things are, you know, happening, like the pestilence with the Ebola, uh, Black Plague, uh, measles, pestilence, famine, and we have. Um, poor, you know, and I think that after the kingdom uh, against kingdom, that's when the sorrows start. So... I'm already feeling sorrowful. <laughs> I don't know about you, but you know what I mean? And so that's the beginning of sorrows. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to be, you know, the true meaning of the word. Um, and is that the beginning of the seven year tribulation? I don't know. And how does it go with the timeline of when this planet 7X is to come into our, you know, to pass Earth? And, of course, when it does, a lot of meteors are going to be coming. Um, it could be used. Um, it could coincide with the Antichrist um, doing his great deception, his great miracle, with the extra 12 hours, Joshua's long day, um, all of these things. So it's unfolding, uh, definitely, and before our eyes, it's, it's kind of hard, to, you know, to... Uh, keep everything straight um, at least it is for me because I you know I just uh, never been to seminary myself I'm just letting the Holy Spirit lead me um, and so hopefully that whatever I discovered helps you as well um, and just to remember you know to all my all my friends uh, my Christian friends non-Christian LGBT Christian non-Christian um, just, just know that there is a God. He is working. These things have to happen. And before we know it, he'll be here again, ruling the world. And there will be no sin, no more crying, no more sorrow. So accept the Lord into your heart today. And, um, you know, ask him to forgive you of your sin. Repent. Know that you are a sinner. You have broken his commandments. Even if you've taken a little thing, you're considered a thief, you know? So you're, you've broken his commandment, okay? And, and you haven't loved him or recognized him. That's another commandment broken. So repent of your sin. Just ask him into your heart. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm a sinner. Please come into my heart. Say it out loud. Mean it with all of your heart and soul and mind. Ask him to come into your life today and to save you from your second death and uh, so that you can be in eternity forever with all of you know, the people that you love and care about and believe me you will not remember this world once we're in the new kingdom all of this shall fade away there won't be crying or or sorrow okay because you won't remember so anyway that's my message for today uh, I was just playing around with my guitar and realized that I kind of remember how to, I mean, I never knew, knew how to do this, but there was a, a, a movie that I liked to see, Mary Poppins, when I was a little kid, and there was a song on there called Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, so anyway, I think this is sort of, I think it goes like, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite precocious, da 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 playing around with that and I was like oh super califragilistic expialidocious <laughs> uh, okay so it's just the little things that make me happy <laughs> and uh, find what little thing makes you happy and enjoy your day tell other people about Christ and uh, enjoy your day have a good one bye bye